in certain populations, up to 40% of women will have fibroids. That's particularly true for women of African American or African descent or women of Hispanic descent. Again, benign condition. Uh, oftentimes patients will live well into their, re their post-reproductive years without ever requiring any type of therapy. The decision to treat depends primarily on the symptom profile of the patient. If a patient has no problems or concerns, it is best left um, undisturbed. If a patient has a specific complaint, we work to address the specific complaint. For example, if a patient has heavy bleeding, then we'll work through a, a series of treatments that may improve or control those bleeding patterns. If a patient is having difficulty getting pregnant, then we'll work through a series of treatment options that may help improve their odds for conceiving. Here in recent years, we've had alternative therapies, uh, medications such as Depo-Lupron, which have the ability to actually reduce the size and volume of the uterine fibroid. There are some ancillary uh, procedures such as a uterine artery embolization, which also can reduce the, the size and volume of the fibroid in an effort either to A, facilitate a minimally invasive surgery or perhaps just simply relieve some of the symptoms for a short period of time.